Okay, today we're going to talk about four types of elasticity. Now, elasticity is a growing um, topic on the AP exam. Um, usually about six questions out of 60, so about 10%. Now, one thing Mancou spends a lot of time in the midpoint. That is not something you really need to know how to figure out the midpoint. So the four types of elasticity are elasticity of demand and supply, cross-price elasticity, which is going to tell you is a substitute or a complement, and income elasticity, which is a normal or inferior good. Okay. Inelastic demand, I think of in as insensitive. It's insensitive to price. So that means if price goes up, quantity demand is going to go down just a little. And obviously, if price decreases, quantity demanded will go down a little. Okay? Um, so, the inelastic curve is kind of like an I. And I think, again, I for an elastic, it is steep. And as you can see here, the change in price is a little, very little change in quantity demand. Now, what you do have to know, the formula here, um, which you would have to know, would be the change in quantity demanded over the percentage change in price. So the percentage change in quantity demanded over the percentage change in price. And the price is always going to be on the bottom. So the change in quantity demanded is 5. The change in price is 20, so therefore um, you would have one fourth, and you'd have 0.25 um, elasticity. Anything under one is inelastic. Anything over one is elastic. Okay. Now, an elastic demand curve is going to be a flatter curve. Elastic is going to be sensitive to price. Okay? So there you're going to see a flatter curve, more sensitive to price. And when you figure out the elasticity, it's going to be greater than one. The second thing they ask you a lot of times to do with these is the total revenue test. So the total revenue test is if price goes up or down, what impact does that have on total revenue? So I again like to think of the not. Price goes up and total revenue goes up, then it's inelastic. Price up, total revenue up, inelastic. Price down, total revenue down, I look like an eye, I'm inelastic. Okay? So that's inelastic. Now if price goes up and total revenue goes down, then you have elasticity. And that is the total revenue test, okay? So, price increases causes total revenue to decrease, that's elastic. Price decreases causes total revenue to increase, same thing, that makes it elastic. Now, unit elastic is price changes in total revenue seems unchanged, okay? So price changes in total revenue remains unchanged, that's unit elastic. And unit elastic is also where you'll find your highest total revenue. All right. Now, you'll have the other thing, what they'll call cross-price elasticity. And what that is, is what is the change in price of one good? What is the impact on the demand or the quantity demand of another good? Okay. So it shows if two goods are substitutes and complements. Again, the price is going to be on the bottom. Percentage change in quantity of product B over percentage change of product quantity A. Okay? So here, the price increases by 20% and quantity decreases by 15. So you have a negative 15 over 20. So if the coefficient is negative, which this is going to be, it shows that the goods are complement. 
If the coefficient is positive, then you have substitutes. So a lot of times they won't ask you to figure out the cross price elasticity, but they'll give you a number and then say, is it a complement, a substitute, a normal good, or an inferior good? Okay? So if the coefficient is positive, the goods are substitutes. The last one is income elasticity. Okay? And that's about all the goods normal or inferior. Again, it's like the change in quantity, and not price, but income. Okay? So remember, like price and income, the money is always on the bottom on every one of these formulas. And keep in note that it's a percentage change, okay? A percentage change in quantity over percentage change in income. So income increases 20% and quantity decreases 15%. Okay? So now you know you're going to have a negative number here. Once you have a negative number, you know it's an inferior good. It's a positive number, then it is a normal good. That's the basic thing that you need as you're reading Mancou to take out. No, is it normal? Um, no, or is it normal good or inferior good? For cross price elasticity, is it a complement or a substitute? Um, for the elasticity of demand, and supply, you need to know, is it elastic or inelastic, okay? And again, the price is over the bottom, it's always on the bottom. So typically the formula, formula is change, percentage change in quantity demanded over percentage change in price. I hope this preview helps you as you get ready to read chapter 5.